So let's talk about the Diamondbacks and the Reds. This did not go <laughs> hardly at all how I thought it would. It did on Sunday just a little bit, but we'll get to that in a minute. The Reds swept this series. They swept the Diamondbacks right out of the Great American Ballpark. Unreal. Um, the score on Friday night was 9-6. to six. Saturday was 4-2, to two, and then Sunday – the Reds took it to the Diamondbacks 7-3. to three. I know it's only a four-run game, but still, with the other two being two and three runs, four runs feels like quite a bit, especially since some of those runs came in late. Um, the Diamondbacks are heading in the wrong direction. That's the problem we have in Arizona right now. And I know I'm wearing a Diamondbacks shirt. I am only a fan by way of being local. I'm always a Mariners fan, um, but I will cheer for the Diamondbacks just because I'd like to see the local team do well. Um the Diamondbacks' last 10 games, they're two and eight. They lost four in a row. Uh, three to the Diamondback, or three, sorry, three to the Reds. And I can't remember who that last one was against. But anyway, uh, overall, they're 26 and 31 against teams with a record over 500. And nine of those games have come, nine of those last 10 games have been since the All Star break, two and seven. And five and 12 in July with a minus 27 run differential. That is not good. Not good at all. The Diamondbacks need to find some pitching in the next week or things are going to continue to spiral. It's not going to go well, and they're going to end up missing the playoffs. They are up, I want to say, a half a game in the wild card right now, I believe. Um, but that'll just get worse if they don't find any pitching. They've got to find a way to hold a lead. They can get a lead, get pretty good offense, but you got to be able to hold that lead. So... Um, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if they're gonna do it. I don't know if they're gonna find the pitching that they need, but they really should. They're gonna have to go out and find somebody uh, and bring them in to uh, to be competitive down the stretch. Um, the Diamondbacks are looking to get back on track this week. They got the Cardinals in coming at the beginning of the week, and then the Mariners this weekend. I am very excited. I will be there. Like Briggs said, like I, said, I did say, very excited. <laughs> very excited. I'll be there Friday and Saturday. Um, if you come find me, I'll buy a hot dog. Sound good? Okay. Um, the Cardinals lost three in a row. Lost three in a row to the Cubs. And the Mariners, they beat... The, I mean, they won the series against the Blue Jays this weekend. So, riding high right now. They know what's at stake. They're going to have to win a lot down the stretch to make the playoffs. But it seems like they're playing with a renewed vigor since the, um, since the Jared Kelnick injury where he kicked the water cooler and broke his foot. Um, that's it's interesting to see that something like that would energize this team and get them to play with a renewed energy this at this point in the season. But it seems like that's what happened. Um, so a couple things for you. First off, did you take the black the blackjack Brad black flag pick of the week on third from Thursday night? If you weren't there to get it, um. I'm, I'm just curious if anybody took this, if anybody took this, because I said on Sunday that I said that on Sunday, Corbin Carroll would homer, right? And then I said, if you want to build your parlay, the Reds are going to win this game. So it's, so it's take Corbin Carroll to homer, the Reds to win money line. And they did. They both had, I'm curious if anybody took that and cashed in. So reach out through the mailbag or through in the, YouTube comments or social media, wherever, let me know because I'm really curious if anybody took that and cashed in because that was pretty awesome. Last thing about the Reds, the Reds are 28 and 13 since uh, Ellie De La Cruz's debut on June 6th. Coincidence? I don't know, but they've been hot, been absolutely red hot. 